let us build our fifth experiment automatic beeper when the light intensity is less let us start by clicking on begin here we will require a light sensor so we scroll through all the components and select light sensor as we need to determine the light intensity in the environment note that i am not selecting or there is no option for beeper in the components in the concept phase because beeper is built into the b box itself so next we go to assembly here between the reset and program you can see a speaker like option we click on it and the beeper is enabled next we connect light sensor to a1 since sensor is an input and we have had a light sensor light sensor is a component which determines the amount of light present in the environment and or surrounding it as shown in this diagram we connect the light sensor in a similar manner as we had earlier connected the leds to port a1 again stressing on the polarity and the way of cutting should be correct next we go to logic flow in this experiment we are basically going to turn on the beeper when the light intensity is very less or when it is dark and turn off the beeper when the light intensity is more or it is bright in this experiment we need to first determine the sensor's value in order to put in the program so in order to determine we need to first program the b box with a dummy program basically we start off with start and then end it with an repeat and then upload to b box as you can see in this video once the program has been uploaded i use my hand to cover the light sensor when the light sensor is exposed to light then the value is at maximum ranging around about 700 when i cover my hand then the value reduces to almost less than 100 if you notice cleanly if i cover the light sensor completely then the value goes less than 10 the sensor's value for the condition statement we will select a value at 250 now let us head back to the logic flow so we have a start next we click on if if is a component which is a decision component it decides what needs to be done if that condition is satisfied or not so if we click on if in the drop down menu you find a1 less than this so if you notice in your b box when we connect a light sensor or any sensor to b box in the respective ports we can find that on the o led screen the values keep changing for a light sensor if there is total darkness around its surroundings then the value at a1 will be lesser value it can range anywhere between 0 to 200 for a light sensor with maximum brightness then the value can go as high as 700 or even greater than 700 in this if condition we will check if the light sensor's value is less than 250 if yes then we need to turn on the beeper so we have output here when we tick on beeper if you notice the beeper can vary anywhere between 0 to 65535 just like in led but note in led the brightness intensity was varied here in case of beeper the frequency is varied so a value of 65535 will have low frequency and a value of 1000 will have a value of high frequency 
let us select a value at 50,000 for the program so we have condition if a1 is less than 250 then turn on beeper we end this if next another if here we mention if the value is greater than the same 250 then the beeper should turn off lastly we end so the program is we start we check in the first if condition whether the value is less than 250 if yes then turn on the beeper in the second condition we check whether the value is greater than 250 if yes then we turn off the beeper we can save the program experiment 5 ok and upload to bbox post uploading successfully you will notice that on covering your light sensor with your hand or using your palm the beeper will start beeping and when exposing it to light the beeper will turn off if you notice when the sensors value goes less than 250 the beeper turns on and off otherwise